I'm on a mission to find a stranger bold enough to overcome their biggest fear. This stranger will have to be willing to open up to a complete stranger and then be courageous enough to trust me to help them push past this fear. But why does fear exist? Fear is one of our natural instincts to protect us from danger and the unknown. However, this basic human emotion can hold us back from our true potential. For centuries, the human species has been pushing the limits as to what's possible. But the one thing that stands in the way of most people is fear. Because of this, my goal is to push a stranger to escape the cycle of their daily routine and to overcome their biggest fear. To prove that fear has no place and no hold over our dreams and to give this stranger a memory they won't ever forget. So I went out in the plaza of Kansas City to find out what strangers biggest fears were and challenge one of them to overcome it. I'm asking strangers what their biggest fear was. Oh shit, okay. My biggest fear? Will probably be like height. Probably future success. Not being able to have a family. Drowning. Drowning? Yeah. A car accident and it's falling off if, if it falls off the bridge. <laughs> probably like losing my kids or something like that. <laughs> it's nah nah nah. It's el, el agua. So he's talking about um like swimming. I think like in a bigger sense pain, like needles. Uh -huh. Anywhere to just getting emotionally wrecked. Probably losing my family. Killed by a snake, like a snake just like wrapping around you, just killing. Ooh, maybe spiders? Yeah, spiders. Losing a little. I'm gonna go with heights. Would you be willing to overcome that fear? Yes. I definitely would, yeah. but I have to take baby steps. Yeah? Yeah? Alright, can I get your information and maybe push you to overcome that fear? Mm. Yeah, you did it? Yeah, you'd be down? Yeah. Alright, dope. Let me get your number. Right, cool, man. I'll let you know. After day one of asking strangers what their biggest fears were, I found three strangers that were up for the challenge. Josh, who is scared of staying stagnant, and Genesis and Leonard, who are both scared of heights. I was excited to push one of them over their biggest fear, however, they ghosted me. I wasn't going to let this stop me though, so the following week, I went back out and asked a few more strangers what their biggest fear is. Uh... Financial debt and uh, being trapped in a situation you can't get out of. My biggest fear would be not achieving the purpose that God set out for me. My grandma passing and I didn't reciprocate what she's done for me. These two strangers and I ended up chatting for a while about fear and life. It was a wonderful conversation, however neither of them had fears that they wanted to overcome. But I left this interaction with a crazy feeling that the next person I talked to would say yes. And let me tell you, it's strange how the world works. What is your biggest fear? Uh, my biggest fear, heights. Yeah? Yeah, if we're talking about biggest, cause I try to fear nothing uh -huh. these days, but that's something I haven't conquered quite yet. So what, why one, do you like to not fear anything? And two, why, what about heights makes well, you fearful? I don't want to give my energy to the energy of fear, you know? Uh -huh. And obviously they say like past fear, are like your best moments and whatnot so which is true so far it honestly so oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> all right so i'm a little afraid of like roller coasters and whatnot mm -hmm. and i went to worlds of fun like five years ago with some friends and my parents were like you ever going to get on this ride like you'll be just fine i didn't realize the ride that i was standing in line for was the mamba and i didn't know i was on it until like we were about to go uh -huh. and that's like one of their biggest ones like i really thought that i was going to die so ever since then, I was like, I'm good. And then like, I've been getting on planes, yeah. you know, more frequently. Uh -huh. And I just can't fathom the thought of jumping out of one. Yeah. I know people like to do it, but I'm like, I'm just not quite there yet. But yeah, I do want to conquer it one day though. So would, would you be willing to conquer it? I'll think about a way to work up to something big. Oh, are you free in the next couple of weeks to do so? I mean, yeah. Yeah? What was your name? <laughs> Lay. Lay? I'm yes. Ellie. You nice said yes you. before you even knew uh, I know. That is wild. <laughs> yeah. I'm down. Okay, Dub, let me grab your number. Right. We'll make this happen. I'm kind of like petrified. I'm like, what could be... I'm so excited. You just made my life so easy. No, this is amazing. <laughs> I look forward to making this happen. Fellas, tell me how the first person I talked to after you guys was willing to do it. How crazy is that? That's what's up. I told you, bro. That was a good vibe from you guys. You made that happen. You did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's just hope Lay follows through and we don't have a repeat from last week. Lay doesn't know this yet, but I'm currently signing us up for tandem skydiving. And earlier she said, I just can't fathom the thought of jumping out of one. Yeah. I know people like to do it, but I'm like, I'm just not quite there yet. But she did say she was willing to get over this fear. Why not someday be this week? Today's finally the day that I'm pushing Lay to get over her biggest fear. I'm running late right now, so I need to go pick her up. And then we have a 30 minute drive to get to the skydiving center. She still has no idea what we're doing, so I'm gonna go pick her up and tell her now. What's up? How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, you ready? 
<laughs> you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm yeah, excited. good. I'm super excited for you. Like, yeah. actually, yes. Yeah. All right. So, I guess before we leave, we have to say the surprise. I said earlier uh -huh. that I was going to ramp it up and, like, you know, take it step by step. I lied. Huh? <laughs> so, uh,. We're going skydiving. No, we're not. We're going skydiving. No. And it's going to be one of the most magical experiences of your life. I'm, I'm telling you right now, Lay, like, trust me on this. Are you okay? I mean, like, totally. You Feel free to back out at any time during this. They'll say that They'll say that during it. But I'm telling you, like, trust me on this. Like, if you go through with this, we're going to have to, like, this, like, experience together. That's going to be, like, truly amazing. <laughs> you still in? Wait. <laughs> okay, so skydiving. Mm-hmm. So this place is called, it's called Falcon Skydiving. I went there about four years ago and it was one of those eye-opening moments where I was like, this was like insanely cool and I wanted to share this experience with someone else. <gasps> What's going through your head right now? I'm just scared. Yeah, I'm I, like... That's a part of this, you know, fear, right? Yeah. Fear can't hold us back. Exactly, but you said we were gonna work up and now I'm like, whoa. I promise you, I promise you, you can do this. <sighs> okay. Yes? I guess. I guess so. You're gonna overcome your fear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when are you ever gonna go skydiving with a stranger again like You're this? You're right. Right? You're right. This is this is once in a lifetime. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's Honestly, go. I'm glad that you waited to tell me because I probably would have said no. <laughs> <laughs> with Lay on board, we drove out into the countryside for our adventure. We truly were still strangers. So on the way, we chatted about our lives and honestly got pretty deep. It's always so wonderful meeting new people and feeling comfortable enough to open up to each other. But our conversation was cut short as we arrived to the skydiving center. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. I'm not nervous yet, so. That's good. See, the thing is, we got in the car. She was not excited about it at first. Mm -mm. Distracted me from what we were doing. Exactly. I love nature and I always feel calm when I'm like in nature. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is gonna so. this is gonna give you nature. This is like the most nature you can get. After arriving at the skydiving center, we signed our waivers, and I could tell Lay was starting to get a bit more nervous. However, I think she was getting excited to overcome her fear. Wow. You just say that's cool? Yeah. All right, let's go. Like that's cool. It's just a jumping out of the freaking plane. <laughs> This is the last we'll see from this camera. We'll hop over to the, the GoPro cameras after this, but uh -oh. here we go. Here we go. Time to do it. I believe real fear should be living a life where you spend most of your days playing life safe and not challenging yourself to be better each day. Fear is normal. We all experience it. But this right here is proof that even the most scared and unwilling can overcome fear. I believe that fear exists now in our present life so that we can challenge ourselves in other ways that our ancestors didn't have to. I challenge you to be like Lei, escape the cycle of your daily routine, and have no place in your life for fear. What do you think? That was crazy. Yeah? Fun? It was so fun. I'm yeah. honestly very grateful. So thank you for yeah. that. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, thank I'm so you, happy. I'm so happy. That was so... That I'm was so, still trying to like... Because <laughs> I thought I would be so much more scared or like anxious. Yeah. It's so cool you did yeah. and it's amazing. I'm you glad guys I did. Got, yeah, yeah. thanks right, dude. You guys take it easy. Yeah, you guys yeah. do the same. Aww. I feel good.